Welcome back to Two Bottoms on Top, the podcast where I'm working late because I'm a singer. Today is perhaps our most special episode of Two Bottoms on Top, as we have a guest who I am currently in financial litigation with, as he believes he's owed a portion of my inheritance. It is my brother. Hello. Hey. Good to be here. (laughs) Well, we have a packed agenda on the DACA today, so let's dive in. Uh-huh. Do we know who that is? Mom. Oh. What's oh, up? Oh, God. We're not going to be able to do this now. Can you just hurry up? No, we're not going to be able to do this no, now. No, it's fine. No, just, we're not going to be... We're Mom. trying to film a podcast episode. I, I got to... All right, let's hurry up. I got work to do. Okay, well, we need quiet on the set. Okay, you're, you're giving me agita right now. Sorry. Why don't you just be a little bit more sorry. respectful to the process? No, you need to be quiet. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you ready? Yeah, my bad. Growing up in this family, what would you say the biggest challenges were for you? Probably, um, you. <laughs> like, why would you say me? What was the biggest challenge? That's my I... other sibling in the background talking to my mother, who has now completely interrupted and ruined the flow hey, for this hey! podcast. So you said I was the biggest challenge in the family, and why is that? I just felt like, um, a lot of times the family was there, you know, revolving around you. So... Well, sometimes there's main characters and sometimes there's secondary characters. I know. There's people that activate and there's people that are activated. Activated, you mm-hmm. I've heard this a bunch. Yeah. yeah you, you said it a lot. Yeah. And it was hard being me. Yeah. Why? I, you know, I mean, we're very different. I think that's because... Well, you I, do have a twin. I don't have a twin. I didn't get um, a lot of the attention that you got. Hence why you're you and not me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're voicing this now that you feel like you didn't get any attention because I actually felt like I didn't get any attention being the youngest in the family of 10 kids. That's what someone that gets a lot of attention tends to think. How come he didn't do his hair? Shush! Well, great. There's going to be an emoji I over his emoji. face. emoji. You were born through cesarean C-section. I was. Right? Oh. Do you feel I... anger towards me because you didn't get to have a vaginal Why birth and I did? My vagina Don't! I'm not lying to people about the vagina. I'm asking him an honest you question. My he was C-section. He was not. Yes, he was. All right. Yes, he was. You were taken out and I was born. And you still think you're owed the same amount of inheritance as me. Well, <gasps> you... I was C-section, right? Mm-hmm. This is why you're gay. Because you went through the vagina and you were like, I don't want this. I didn't. And I was like, I need to know more. No. <laughs> Am I wrong? The question, Am I wrong? we're not attacking people's sexuality here, okay? I'm not, dude. We're not. I would and the it. fact that you would invoke my sexuality into this conversation shows a lot about who you are, right? Does it not? No, I mean, I don't really care about it. That's why I'm bringing it up. Well, you just... No, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't oxymoronic. be... Oxymoronic. Emphasis on the moronic part. There should be no emphasis on the sexuality aspect of this conversation. Exactly. I didn't put one on, you just did. Whatever, out of our eight siblings. Parenting. Out of our eight siblings, who is your favorite? Probably you. Period, and why? I felt like I never really knew my other siblings. Mm. And who's your least favorite? <laughs> and who's your least favorite? I couldn't say. No, you have to pick one. Probably the youngest. I am the youngest. <laughs> I am the youngest. Oh my, I'm, I'm, I messed that up. You're missing that up. You mean the oldest. The oldest, yeah. You mean the oldest. Yeah. Naomi. Our mother is a paleontologist. What are your thoughts on her career as a paleontologist? Has it inspired you to go after your own passions? Or has it inspired you to, you know, stay to the course? I really admire how successful she is. Mm-hmm. And because of how hard she worked. She's the favorite. Because of how hard she worked, I didn't really get to see her. Mm-hmm. And so I always had this negative. And you think that's had long-lasting effects on your growth? Oh, no, I'm much taller than you. (laughs) I've never had, I never saw her, so I I put all my anger towards paleontology. Mm. She's been finding evidence that dinosaurs, specifically Tyrannosaurus rexes, engaged in homosexual behavior. What are your thoughts on that? Good for them. Good for them? Mm. What evidence do you think they found? Was it DNA related? Mm -mm, It was position related. Position related. Yeah. Probably some sort of mounting... Yeah. Um, structure of the two males yeah in the um doggy in the doggy yeah that position they call it the dino the, n- dino yes dino they call it the dino yeah. position yeah. and they were were they erects yeah. tyrannosaurus erects yeah. were they erects 
There's... You are my smartest child. Yeah. I don't like how this is being turned on its head. Okay. I'm answering your question. I don't like this at all. I think we need to end the podcast now, actually. Can I say something? Yeah, say something. I just want to say I really appreciate Jake's following. Um, I read the comments every day, even though I'm not a part of it. And, you know, there's a few that, that stick out to me. No hate towards my mom, please. I think, I think she gets a bad rap, especially when it came to um, the Beyonce stuff. Uh, Thank you. And what do you mean by that? I mean, her lack of knowledge about Beyonce, it's not her fault. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't like people attacking her for that. In what ways were they attacking her? Saying my mom, what were they saying? They, you were racist. Mm. And on that note, thank you so much for following, subscribing, and liking my content thank you. here. Um, it's been a pleasure to have you. You look gorgeous, Jake. Thank you. Good talk. Gorgeous.